Imagine a golden flaky tart filled with a creamy savory custard, punctuated by the salty crunch of bacon or ham. This is Quiche Lorraine, a culinary masterpiece that's as rich in flavor as it is in history. Born in the eastern French region of Lorraine, the name Quiche Lorraine may have its roots in the German Kuchen, a term used for similar dishes. Each region of Alsace and Lorraine boasts its own version of the quiche, each claiming to be the authentic representation of this classic dish. The quiche Lorraine dates back to the 16th century. Originally, it was baked with a bread dough case, similar to that used for passaladiere and pizzas. However, as the dish evolved, short crust or puff pastry became the norm, giving the quiche its distinctive buttery crust. The classic quiche Lorraine is a symphony of simplicity. The filling comprises eggs, thick cream, and ham or bacon, creating a savory custard that is both comforting and indulgent. However, until well into the 20th century, this delightful dish remained a closely guarded secret of the Lorraine region, seldom seen in Paris, let alone foreign countries. As the quiche Lorraine began to gain popularity, nationally and internationally, a new ingredient started to make an appearance, cheese. Some food historians attribute this change to Parisian chefs who were known for their flair for innovation. Jules Gouffet introduced a version with Parmesan in 1870, and Auguste Escoffier, in 1903, recommended lining the pastry case with bacon and strips of Gruyere before adding the cream and egg mixture. However, this addition was met with criticism from purists who considered cheese an inauthentic addition. Elizabeth David, in her book French Provincial Cooking, and Simone Beck, Louisette Bertol, and Julia Child in their Mastering the Art of French Cooking, excluded cheese from their recipes for quiche Lorraine. They were of the opinion that a classic quiche Lorraine, with its simple cream, egg, and bacon filling, was tricky to get right and didn't require the addition of cheese. Despite the debate, by the 1950s, the use of cheese had become commonplace in quiche Lorraine, reflecting the dish's growing popularity. Today, you'll find quiche Lorraine with various cheeses, from Comté to cheddar and Parmesan. Even ready-made quiches sold in supermarkets typically contain cheese, usually Emmental or similar. Regardless of the cheese debate, the enduring charm of quiche Lorraine lies in its versatility. It's a dish that can be served hot, warm, or even cold, making it a perfect choice for any meal. From its humble beginnings in the Lorraine region to its current status as a beloved dish worldwide, the quiche Lorraine is a testament to the enduring appeal of simple, delicious food.